Okay, here we are at step one of the fuselage build. I've got all my parts I require for that first step. The two fuselage halves, I've got the uh, tailwheel wire form, I've got my long piece of carbon fibre tube, I've got the RX, the receiver mounting clip, and I've got the tools that I need, and I've also got a, uh, a rule, because uh, looking at the uh, the, the instructions themselves, I've got to make a, a measurement. So let's do that first. Let's identify the path I need, which is uh, the port side of the fuselage. And I need to measure 67 centimeters down the, uh, the rear of the fuselage. I'm just going to mark that with the back of the back of my blade just to put a little dent in there so I know where my where my, where my wire form is going. So it's going there. What I need to do is grab myself one of the little construction stickies like so and then assemble this as per the instructions. So I'm just going to pop that on there like so. And we've got it in the right place. Right, next step. Carbon fibre rod. And that simply pops into the cavity there. So I've got my stickies on there as per the instructions. The next step I need is the insertion of the RX clip. Now according to the instructions it pops into this cavity here. If I turn over we can see the protrusions coming through and they marry up, uh, butt up against the top and bottom of the, the cavity there. Now, what it doesn't say in the instructions is that the position of this RX clip needs to be a little bit towards, slid towards the, uh, the rear of the aircraft. And in fact, the gap, if I get my tweezers, the gap between this part here pokes up out of the RX clip and this front portion of the uh, the, the Depron, um, that gap there needs to be about two millimeters. So let's just check that. Yep, that's pretty much two millimeters. And then I need to secure this in place using some more stickies. So let's just do that. So we have the tail wheel in place and we have our mounting clip in place and we have a 2 mil gap there and there. Right now what we need to do is glue these two halves together like so. And it's worth a, uh, a quick practice beforehand because the glue that we're using is a contact adhesive and by the time we've got the glue in the areas we need it, it'll be drying off. So when we come to put the two halves together, we've got to get it accurate first time, um, otherwise we could be trying to part the, uh, the fuselage with a knife to, uh, to try and realign it. When you put these two parts together, you'll notice that they're not exactly um, symmetrical. Um, for instance, the, uh, the, the, the um, cavities here are different than on the, uh, on the, the port side. And also we've got a, a hole here, we haven't on the other side, and also we have um, asymmetry 
at the rear of the uh, the aircraft so don't be concerned once you've got it together that there's a, a step here because it's supposed to be like that and the reason for that will uh, become clearer as we go through the build okay so I've got that lined up what I'm going to do now is just go and uh, apply the uh, the glue now when I'm applying the glue the other thing I've got to remember, which it says in the instructions, is this area here, I shouldn't put any glue in whatsoever. Uh, and once again, the reason for that will become clear as the assembly, um, the assembly of the aircraft goes on. Okay, so let's apply some glue. Now, we don't have to be too liberal um, about putting glue on, but one of the important areas is the nose here. So we want to make sure that we get a good covering here. We can be less liberal with the glue in the uh, in the tail and midsection, but certainly the nose area is where we want to uh, make sure that we've got a, a, a good amount of glue. So let's go. There we go, now I can let that dry off and once it's dry I can start applying the other half of the fuselage. Okay, everything seems to be uh, nice and dry now, so we are going to put the two fuselage halves together. I'm going to start by putting this, uh, this one on the deck um, so I can start lining it up and I'm going to drop this one onto the top of it very carefully and I'm going to start at the nose first and then work my way back. As we move towards the back it's very important that we get the gap where the uh, horizontal stabilizer goes through, we get that as accurate as possible so that when the stabilizer is in there, um, it, uh, it lies nice and flat. We're all tacked down, now we just need to apply some pressure to make that contact adhesive really work for us. It might be a good idea just to, to uh, put this under a, a book in certain areas. Obviously, with, with the protrusions here, you, you can't stick that under a book, but um, there we go. Our fuselage halves are nicely together. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> 